fun is that? I get it, right? But in this context of not get rid of the sugar, you just yeah. don't need it. But most people, their coverage would be bare then. What's that? I know a lot of people, if they did that, their coverage would be bare. Well, we're starting somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. Got to lay the ground, groundwork now. So paleo correct and zone correct. Who's sort of the paleo lifestyle and the zone lifestyle, right? Zone. It's a, we'll go over it here briefly. Okay, it's a part of an overall lifestyle. Okay, so paleo. So our genes dictate what our nutritional needs, right? You guys already told me the genes didn't change, right? Our genes don't change. So I have the caveman style, right? So they didn't have all this garbage, and there's no history of degenerative disease. None. Okay. Our genes were shaped over time by environmental experience. Would you guys agree to that? Right, the food pyramid, right? So like I said, our genes really haven't changed over the last 40,000 years up, up until 500 generations ago, which is two and a half million years ago, all humans ate the same thing. Not bad. But obviously things have changed. And like I said, the agricultural revolution changed all that. So what does paleo look like? Unlimited non-starchy vegetables, good carbs. Again, uh, we'll talk about that later. There's stuff in your packet for you. No refined grains, bad carbs, white bread, rice, you name it. Plenty of fruits and uh, berries. Now again, when it's plenty <coughs> of fruit and berries, right? There are good fruits and berries in there. Again, that's in the packet that I gave, I gave you guys. Okay. Relatively high in animal protein. Moderate amount of good fats, avocado, loose avocado, guacamole, grass fed butter, eggs, right? walnuts. Right, high in fiber, right? Your engine's only as good as your exhaust system, right? So you gotta have a lot of good fiber in there. Okay, high potassium, low sodium, no, net alkaline load, right? What does acidity cause in your body? What brought you guys in here? Inflammation, right? So when things are acidic, that's what drives inflammation. What is sugar? What do you think sugar does? Drives inflammation, right? They all do the same thing, right? So rich in phytochemicals, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Zone diet, what's it look like? Zone lifestyle. Very similar to paleo and food choice recommendations, 40, 30, 30, okay? That's more of your macronutrients. If you ever heard someone talk about counting your macros, this is what we're talking about. It gets a little more complicated, we won't go there, but it involves a food scale, okay? Still a really good um, method. And what's it look like? Lots of vegetables, lots of green on the outside, a little bit of good healthy fat in the middle, and some protein, lean meat, grass-fed meat. Okay, the do's and don'ts, finally, we're getting there. Non-starchy veg, some fruit, meat, poultry, fish, range-fed eggs, natural fats, some nuts, seeds, drink plenty of water. <coughs> Is all water created equal? No? And you'll find that it's more acidic. Is smart water smart? You guys are smart. Delts, refined carbs, cereal grains, sweeteners, bad vegetable oils, excluding olive oil, avocado, palm, and coconut. Dairy products, soda, juice, and alcohol. How many juice boxes do kids have in their hands all the time? Gatorades? No. You ever looked on a Gatorade bottle? Two and a half servings? About 56 grams of sugar? The kid will drink one of those at a meal. It's pretty crazy, right? And they have ADHD problems? Maybe. Sedentary lives, right? Wild giraffe in captivity. So giraffe, you can feed a giraffe anything you wanted, right? Giraffe's not going to take it. Giraffe only knows one thing. Because why? The genes don't change. Unfortunately, this is what happens when we're wild. Okay? Bad things happen. So humans living today inherit a genome that was programmed for daily physical activity and high fiber diet, right? Way back when we were created, right, we had to hunt and gather. We had to expend a lot of energy to go get our food that lasted for what, maybe five days, five, ten days, we had to go out back and do it again. Or are we doing that now? I'm not a hunter, so I'm, I, I know I need to get up a little bit. So what causes elevated insulin? Okay, what does insulin do? Stores fat. 
So anytime we eat sugars, refined carbs, right? What does insulin do? Energy imbalance, excess calories, right? Too many calories, overeating, sedentary living, under moving. Okay? I'll just work it off at the gym. Right? So it's not an it's not an exchange, right? It's not a bank account. Well, I put stuff in so that I can take it out. Right? Your body doesn't work like that. Everybody has without doing anything, your body burns so many calories. Right? So unfortunately you don't know that unless you pay to get it done. Okay, so you don't you can't tell who has a Fitbit. Right? What does that tell you? How many steps? You think that tells you how many calories? Do you think it's accurate? Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so it's like I just walked twenty five thousand steps. I'm gonna go home and have twenty five thousand calories. <laughs> right? That's not how it works, right? Okay. All right. So intake and output, right? Okay. You put stuff into your body, you want to make sure that you're not maximizing that effort. You want to make sure you're maximizing your effort of what you're doing to burn that off. And your hormonal impact, right? Support heart training, lean muscle, but not fat. The energy balance. Thrifty genes. Very easy to consume calories and very difficult to burn them. Would you agree? I just told you, right? You spend an hour on a treadmill, thanks to those 250 calories. You can go home, have a muffin, it's 260 calories. That was no fun, right? That's terrible. Uh, again, I love this. I think it's more 80-20, but 30% uh, gym, 70% diet, abs are in the kitchen, not in the gym. You guys agree, right? Oh, I'm working on getting that. I wanted that 12-pack. I don't want to do anything different in the kitchen, but I'm working on it 10 days a week, right? So let, let's look at the exercise a little bit. Exercise is critical in achieving optimal health. It corrects that metabolic derangement. Our ancestors exerted themselves daily to secure their food, water, and protection. Although modern technology has made physical act, exertion optional, it is still important to exercise through our survival dependent on it. And in a different way, it still does. Right? I would say life is unnaturally stressful. So much technology around. Right? We don't need to do much. Is that the answer? Or do we need to do more? Do more? We have more cars, we have more transportation, right? We have to go out and kill our food, survive on. So in order to rebalance your hormones with exercise, right? Here's the big one. You guys ready? <laughs> Only exercise on the days you need. Right? right? Makes sense, right? Can we all do that? Exertion's a key, right? Who's been to a gym? Who's, be honest, right? You go there and you get on your phone, right? And just, who's on Facebook, Sally, texting, reading the news, watching the TV, right? You gotta exert yourself, right? Moving, sweating, panting. Those are the requirements for exercising, right? Are we, are we briskly walking or are we just going through the motions, bird watching, watching the trees sway back and forth, right? 30 minutes plus. Who doesn't have 30 minutes in their day to do this? You can get a sweat going in five minutes, especially if you have an exercise in Right? What's that? Especially if you're out of shape. Exactly, right? It's not going to take much, right? It doesn't matter, matter what you do, do what moves you. Okay? So a lot of people can say, you know, I don't care if it's on the treadmill, I don't care if it's walking, I don't even care if it's making love, right? It's got to be... Moving, sweating, panting. All right. So then the third part, social stress. Who has any stress? Who's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, news, right? There's the other one. Cortisol. Who's heard of cortisol? All right. Big thing. Right. Chronic physiological stress and sleep deprivation all affects that. Okay. So, so when our bodies go through a lot of stress, what happens? Anybody know? Your cortisol Exactly. Your brain senses stress because your bodies are what? Smart. And your adrenal glands release cortisol. So unfortunately, your body doesn't know if it's running from a tiger or if your boss gave you a bunch of work to do or your mom made you mad, whatever it may be, right? So your cortisol is going to shoot straight up, okay? Just like your insulin, right? So when you're con chronically stressed all the time, what do you think is way up here? Cortisol, right? 
Sleep's got nothing to do with it. Okay, let's let's understand hunger hormones, ghrelin and leptin. So ghrelin, appetite stimulator. Ghrelin is released from the stomach, and when elevated, sends a signal to your brain letting you know when you're hungry and it's time to eat. Age, gender, blood, blood glucose, and leptin levels can all affect ghrelin levels. All right, leptin, the appetite suppressor. Okay, which is stored and is created by fat cells and considered to be the master regulator of hunger. When you eat a meal, leptin is released from fat cells and sends a signal to your brain to let you know when you're full to stop eating. Do you think those are working with you or against you right now? Do you think their functions change or you change? You change. Right. So sleep deprivation, right? Cortisol levels. Cortisol is, okay, this is how it's supposed to be. Whether it is in your life, might be a little bit different in yours. All right, they're supposed to be very low in the PM, right? And high in the AM. Do you think that's right for you right now? Or do you think it's the other way around? What do you think? If you're stressed out all the time, what do you think that is? Very high, right? Unnatural schedules, right? Third shift, right? Cavemen didn't have third shift. I do think. Right? Then unnatural lighting, right? Hibernation. Right? We have summer, lots of light, right? Going to fall, going to winter, right? We're naturally supposed to be hibernating. Right? But if we are chronically stressed all the time with no sleep, we're way up here, everything's high, 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 right? The leptin, right? Leptin's down, which means our appetite is up. Okay, ghrelin's up, which means our appetite is up. Right? Cortisol, carb craving. Who loves some carbs, right? Popcorn. At night, watching a movie, 40 grams of carbs right before you go to bed. It's got to be good. Okay. Insulin. What does insulin do again? Fat storage. All because of sleep. All because you're not sleeping. Right? Who gets six hours of sleep? Eight ish. Right? So we want to get between seven and eight hours, right? All the schedules are the same. But again, imagine if you start getting less and less and less, and you're doing that day after day after day. Right? I'm crazy. I'm, I told this, everybody knows that I go to bed at like 7.30, and I get up at 3.45. Right? It's not made for everybody. That schedule's not made for everybody. I get that. But I make sure I get my hours in there, because I know it's that important to me. Best practices. So I use the circadian rhythm as a guide. All right, we all have a natural rhythm, right? It's gonna be a little bit different. We'll talk later, I promise. Eight, nine hours. Nine hours of pushing, that's almost like a job. Okay, dark and quiet, comfortable, get away from electronics, 90 minutes. Just turn off your phones, turn off the TVs, get away from the computer. Unwind, who can't sleep at night? You think it's because you didn't have your sleeping pill? Okay, household culture, okay? Talking about kids, family. Okay, everybody do it. Okay, if it's just you doing it, they're gonna be like, or if you're just kids, you gotta go to bed. Well, why do you get to stay up later? Because we're grown ups? I think that's really a privilege, right? So just do it all together, right? If everyone's doing it, the kids are gonna it's gonna be a lot easier for the kids. And the research shows for those who like to literally tap into more, okay, sleep is better between sixty and sixty seven degrees in your house. So if you like it really hot, but you can't fall asleep, maybe that's why. Right. Eat more, sleep more, have more sex. I think we can all do this. So who's tried all this, right? I'm a workout machine. I eat. I have a private chef at home that cooks the best, finest meals, right? But my body's still not doing it, right? Okay. So this is where it comes into chiropractic, right? Those nerves right there, it's a lot of them, right? They all deal with digestion. Thyroid up in the neck, right? There's the energy level, metabolism. They even work in all the way down, gallbladder, liver, stomach, stomach acid, I, intestines where we absorb our nutrients, right? We're not absorbing stuff into our body, the good things in our body, right? Just It's a rental, right? Goes in, goes right out. We're not absorbing anything. Okay. Okay. Given the ineffectiveness of popular weight loss diets, adoption of a healthy lifestyle is more appropriate for winning the war against chronic disease. Okay. Some of the resources here. 
okay, that I used. Um, and then that is it for the night. I gave you guys a packet. We're not going to get into them too much because I don't want to keep you too long. But those are some extra tips I want to help you guys out with. I want you guys to understand there's no trick to weight loss. 15 pounds in 15 weeks. Okay, I'm not asking a lot, but that's one pound a week. Do you think you could leave here, go home and look in your cupboards and say, how much sugar am I actually taking in? Okay, what does my hormone, what does insulin do again? All right? So where does, it, where does our fat mainly store? The belly, right? When that fat push, puts pressure on our organs, like our kidneys, so I'm going to go deep here. You guys ready? So it puts pressure on our kidneys, right? It's going to raise our blood pressure. All right, blood pressure goes up, okay? Starts cracking those walls, right? Cholesterol is made from our body, covers those cracks up. We got more cholesterol, we got more plaquing going on. Or the next thing you know, we got cardiovascular disease because we've just ate a bunch of sugar that's fast building around our stomach. Okay, so understand when you're putting stuff into your body, right? Is it is your insulin, are you storing fat or are you burning fat? Which one do you want to do? Okay, and that's what nobody wants to tell you. Everybody wants to give you a pill. So you take this, it'll go up. Let me know how that goes for you. So you'll be back in 30 days, probably 10 more pounds up. Okay, so consistent changes at home is what it's going to do for you. Okay, and that guy that gave you guys a bunch of stuff as far as um, different things that I like doing, Different times, if you guys like to take supplements, vitamins, best time to take them with what is in there. Good carbs, good vegetables, good fruits. Uh, really tap into those, right? Not everything's the same, right? If we're eating a bunch of bananas or a bunch of corn, you think, well, those are fruits and vegetables. It's the wrong stuff we're eating, okay? I can't remember what else I put in there. Exercise, so anybody's looking to do exercise, they gave you body weighted movements. That requires no Nothing to buy. I think there's one with a pull-up bar um, that you can buy at any store. But simple things. If you guys have any questions about that, let me know. Oh, and then I put the water guide in there and then a couple other things. So, um, Before I let you guys go, um, coming next month, so you guys are first to find out about this, Dr. Eric, he's the man with all these extremity issues. I like to call it falling apart syndrome. All right, my shoulder, my elbow, my hand, a lot of my fingers hurt. Right? He's going to go over it so much. He's, been, he's already started on this two weeks in, and it's next month. So he's got a lot of stuff going for you guys. Really excited about it. I encourage you guys to bring more people to this one. Because who doesn't have a shoulder issue, um, wrist issue, fingers, elbows, everything. Okay. Um, does anybody else have any other questions about anything? I got one that's yeah. not totally related. Nope, that's all right. It's diet related, but yet it's not too related. Well. Uh huh. Okay, so one of the things on my list I can have is rhubarb. Yeah. However, you can't eat that without sweetening it. So um, are you stevia when you use diet? See, stevia, I just don't, we, nobody knows a lot about it. Hmm. Right? It's aspartame, it's high fructose corn syrup, 19. No, I don't want aspartame, no bad. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying that's what stevia is, right? It's made from a plant, I get that. Okay. But again, if you can avoid it, I would try. Right? I mean, I would do my best. Can you eat that plate? Rhubarb? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can, right? I mean, but, I mean, no one knows a lot about stevia right now. So do you want to have a conversation in 15 years about stevia? Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's good or bad. I mean, it's definitely a better alternative than regular sugar, cane sugar, right? Just because it's organic doesn't mean it's good for you, right? Just made organically. Produced organically. Yeah. So what should I do? Be careful. What? Out of what? Not eating anything at all. <laughs> well, next to that. <laughs> I would go with stevia, right? They have stevia liquid drops. Okay, so um, that's probably the way I would go. If you did need a sweetener of some sort, would be that. Well, I use, I use stevia, but... Yeah. What yeah, about raw honey? What's that? What Organic honey? raw honey is really good. For sweetening? Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, carrots. Shave some carrots up, right? If something calls for brown sugar, right? Shave some carrots up. Carrots are sweet. 
Okay, that'll do another thing for you. Not your coffee, but that might be really bad. Uh, yeah. So, any other questions? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, go ahead. On your body hacks, you're yeah. With apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Yeah, so what I do is, it tastes absolutely awful, I think, but I love it. I'll do it before meals, uh, but I'll do warm water, a little bit of warm water, okay? Um, some lemon juice, and probably two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, right before meals. It keeps your blood sugar, right? Where it's normally up here, keeps it way down here, right? So we don't have insulin spikes. So when you have insulin going up, what are we doing? Store and fat, right? So we want to keep it down here. Okay, raw, raw organic cinnamon will do the same thing. But um, if you take apple cider vinegar, it doesn't really affect me, but just a heads up, if you want to take a shot of it, you don't want to deal with all this stuff, it may give you uh, stomach disruption. Okay, go ahead. I, I take uh, two cans full of vinegar, uh, unfiltered vinegar, yeah. but it has a um, hot water. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I prefer the liquid. Um, any uh, liquid's going to get faster in your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. yeah, ca the ca yeah. capsules have to break up. Well, I, I, mean, I, think it, I think unfiltered vinegar liquid yeah. with uh, two caps full of it. Oh, two caps. Sorry, I yeah, thought you meant capsules. Capsule. Sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> with, um, no, I heard you wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't make it hot, but yeah, warm water. The lemon, oh, juice, the lemon juice just helps the, the stomach acid in there. I mean, um, you have that instead of coffee. Oh, that's great, yeah. So you sip it? No, nope, I shoot it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can sip it, but I mean, the more I smell it, the less I want to drink it. <laughs> that's just me. If you can stand it, sip on it. But yeah, I, I like to have it 30 minutes before my meals. Okay, then it then, uh, keeps my blood sugar level easy. And then when I eat, no, I do it before all my meals. Okay, I like the stuff that, uh, you know, I think it's Bragg's. Yes. You know, it's got the mother in it, but mm -hmm. they all have them nowadays. They've all figured it out. Do you do two teaspoons of vinegar? I do. I do. I would recommend that starting out. You know, I would definitely, you know, work up to that point. Everybody's a little bit different. So you have two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would start out, if you're not used to it, I would definitely start out very light. Exactly. You don't like it? No. How is coffee? Coffee? So, I mean, you guys probably know, like, you've probably heard people talk. We're, uh, I like bulletproof coffee, right? That's my morning thing. Um, again, in this context, I don't want you guys skipping meals, but I like doing bulletproof coffee in the morning. Okay, it's good healthy fats. Okay, you and I said that no, no, you guys need healthy fats in the morning. Your brain is 60% fat. If you don't give your brain what it needs in the morning, what is going to happen? Right? Sluggish. Sluggish. Mental mental clarity's off. Brain fog. Right? I'm just not awake. Well, your brain's not awake. You just gave it what refined grains, right? You just fed it dairy and grains, and then you get that slump. You think it's going to need more caffeine, but I like flat regular coffee. If you want to sweeten it, that's why we use uh, grass-fed butter. It's got essential fatty acids in it, more fat, more healthy fat, and then got the brain acting oil. I put coconut oil. You can do coconut oil. It just takes a little bit longer to process because how it's made. Okay, there's well, just chemical. Oh no 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 no. So the way coconut oil is, in the way the brain octane oil oh, is. the way the, it, your way, body of well, Yes, exactly. Coconut oil has to be broke down into your liver first, and then hits the brain. Of course, the brain octane oil, the way it's made, doesn't have that chemical compound. It goes straight to your brain. So, so I like this stuff. How does caffeine, like coffee Caffeine's here. fine, unless you guys, I mean, if you guys are having like jitter issues, but no, caffeine won't really play an effect to anything, like fasting or anything. Or no, anything like that. as long as you're not doing any sugar. Right, black coffee's really good for it as long as there's absolutely no sweetener. Good question. Great question. Yeah. On the body 
Yeah, yeah. So we sell brain octane oil upstairs, but MCT oils, right? You can go to any supermarket, Meyer, Harding. You may say coconut oil, great, great uh, source of MCTs. It's just medium chain triglycerides. Okay, and just big long word for healthy fat. Okay, so um, yeah, I just prefer the brain. I've tried, I've tried them all. I've tried three different brains, and I, I found I just have better results with the brain octane. Questions?